Empire Total War 2 is back and this time it's back with a bang. There's been a lot of patches to this great mod that has fixed the stability and the stability is now so good that you can even play to turn 200. So what does patch 3.0 and the accompanying patches along with it including 3.22 what does it add? It adds a huge amount of fixes to campaign bugs as you can see the UI here the amount of factions the amount of units Scotland possessing all technology which has now been fixed the Ottomans and the Spanish instability issues there's been a lot of changes to the campaign there's been a lot of changes to the whole mod by itself and as you can see there's custom battle maps as well if you go into the custom battle screen you will get a selection of different battle maps with new pictures and new st things I think this has great multiplayer potential in the future. I really would like to see more players, more YouTubers doing this. I'd love to see Pope John Paul installing this mod and trying this mod out. I'd love to see YouTubers like Terminator trying out this mod and definitely playing the multiplayer battle. Of course, Terminator has played this mod before, but it would be awesome to see them do something like this because this mod right now feels great. And look, this is the Saratoga map made by the Siberian was an absolutely excellent Total War modder that does some really great job and if battle maps were like this in vanilla there would be more replayability but more custom battle maps just like this in Empire Total War would be absolutely amazing to do I absolutely call this a wonderful job and Sese the modder behind this he is basically updating this mod with a huge amount of work education effort whatever you want to call it I am in simple praise right now. As you can see, this is footage from my cinematics that I'm creating for Empire Total War 2. Absolutely wonderful, absolutely amazing. I really like this mod. It's really fantastic. Let me tell you what I really enjoyed when I was playing Empire Total War 2. I was playing as France and as playing the French, I had a severe war with Britain in the north of Canada during the early 1700s or so. Which was a bit odd, but it happened. And we kept fighting back and forth on a tug of war that she, that one way it went the French, then one way it went the British. And then as I stabilized France, as I built France up, as I built its economy, as I built its navy up, you know, I managed to sort of build a small semi-empire within Canada. Well, not within Canada, but within North America. I managed to make Louisiana maybe Texas you know I also managed to hold off the British until the Mughals they wiped out the martyrs and then they came to Quebec and then they became a threat and then I made peace with the British which was obvious but then what happened was was that peace reigned between us for many many years well not for many years of course because the French and the English are bound to fight at some point at some time in the battle of all eternity but as France I made use of my limited navy I blockaded British ports the Spanish had become powerful and then we went and raided Scotland but then Scotland uh, declared war on us because we helped them and they were ungrateful to the French which is a bit uh, odd you know because it was the French that were responsible for helping the Americans against the British and as you can see this cinematic battle that I've done here right now is basically what's going to be released in maybe two three days as of from now you will see the battle of saratoga recreated in cinematic detail now i'm not going to say this is going to be historically accurate this is more for historical uh, liberty this is more for historical authentication okay it's not meant to be historically accurate there isn't a custom map of saratoga just yet but there will be one and the siberian is the one who makes these custom maps so go join the Discord and suggest any maps of the 18th century that you want to see, that you want to see basically, that you want to see uh, being recreated, and go and inform him, tell him what maps you want to see in this game. As you can see here, some of the battles are amazing. My main issue is that sometimes the units just go too melee, but that's probably Empire AI rather than the mod itself because AI just charges when when really you want the AI to fire in straight lines you can still see the absolutely great visual detail that is here at this point 
Look at the animations. Look at the muskets. And these muskets, I believe, are from Imperial Splendor. Of course. And I love the shining effect as well. There's a somewhat for it as well. But, you know, 3.0, very easy to install. And all the patches above it, also very easy to install as well. I'll be making a separate installation video. But, in order to say what this mod is to me, this mod allows me to recreate battles of the 18th century in really good ways. It has difficult campaigns, it challenges you, it makes you want to play on further. It basically gives that replayability that the uh, normal Vanilla Empire doesn't do. And some people would say, would you compare Imperial Splendor and would you compare Empire Total War 2? I'd say both are great mods in their own right. Both are great mods. Both have degrees of complexity, degrees of uh, battle mechanics, degrees of different areas. I think that either way they're fantastic mods and you should try both of them. Because look, and in, at the end of the day, if I go and simply say that this mod is better than that mod, that makes no sense. At the end of the day, we're all Total War fans, we love the Total War series, and I think that all these mods are a celebration of what Total War modders can achieve at the end of the day. I never thought I'd be fighting battles like this in Empire Total War. Look at the visual detail. I'm, of course I'm using reshade, of course. But you can see the volley fire, absolutely everything that's going on in the background. Can you not tell me that this is not only an epic, epic mod, it basically makes the battles come alive. And I would seriously love to play some multiplayer on this mod. Now, just to be clear, there are two options that you will have. VDM and no VDM, which VDM is scripted and I'm playing currently on no VDM. There's also an early and late campaign, which is basically your preferences script and that will determine. So if you want to play in 1700s, you go with the early script. If you want to play in 1783, which is the latest period or whatever, then you select that as your preference script and replace it back and forth. For as for now, I'm playing on 1700. But, Empire Total War 2 is back with a bang. You can obviously see the attention to detail in units. It, even the map right here that you can see right now, that's a custom battle by itself. Made by the Siberian himself. You know, I'm definitely going to be releasing the cinematic, also a trailer for this mod that I am currently working on at this point. Hopefully I can do justice to the mod. And there's some really good stuff going on here. Some really, really great stuff. And look, while we wait for the next historical title, this mod can satisfy your desire. Imperial Splendor can satisfy your desire. Many things can be achieved within that moment. So don't forget to leave a like, share, comment and subscribe. I will see you in the next video, which will be the American Saratoga battle. And I will also see you in the Empire Total War 2 trailer, which I'll be releasing this week as well. Each of these videos may come at different points at different times. This is merely a spotlight meant to showcase how epic this mod is. So, I shall see you in the next one.